like four million toys. I have her frisbee. I don't know if you can see her crab down there. Two towels, um, a ball. We have poop bags just in case she decides to go poop. Her leash is on the floor. And then I have um, some freeze dried treats for her. And of course, her water, which I froze. You can kind of see I froze it so that it would stay cold because it's hot. So we have everything and we are ready to go. Okay, so um, as you can see, we're in the car. I have Robin ready. I have to run a couple errands before I take her to um, her first dock diving, which is super exciting. I can't wait because this means that if she's good enough, I can actually compete with her. So um, today is just like, the beginning lesson to make sure that the lady knows that she knows how to jump and swim and everything goes along well. I'm gonna try and record. I don't know how much she's gonna let me record. I haven't really asked her about it, um, but we are going to run a couple errands, get some water, get the cash out to pay the lady, and then um, head to her. Our appointment's at one and it's 10 o'clock. So I only have a couple hours to do the errands that I need to do, but that should be more than enough time. But I think, Robin, are you excited? No, not at all. Hey guys, and welcome back to um, another video on my channel. Um, my name's Laura and this is Dogs of Our Lives. Today, we are going to be going on an exciting journey. So, for those of you who don't know, I have a 11 month old, well she's about to turn um, a year old. She's an 11 month old rescue German Shepherd. I got her when she was eight weeks old and her name is Robin. Um, I'll obviously insert photos and videos of her when she was a little, little, little baby in here. So probably while I'm talking, you'll be seeing how cute she was, but um, I got her when she was eight weeks old and I was told that she was not a very nice dog and that she needed aggression training and whatever. So I started working with her immediately and one thing that I found is that she was very intelligent and she loved more than anything learning new things and she loved a ball. Like from the second that I got her, she wanted a ball. So I started working with her at my mom's dock and trying to get her to jump off the dock to try and get her to learn new things and not be so like pent up and aggressive or whatever. Basically just having pent up energy. So fast forward to this video. Uh, she did so well at my mom's that I felt that she needed to get some professional training. So I have decided to take her to a professional trainer that does dock diving and does agility and she is going to evaluate her and see if she's good enough to be able to um, compete and how much training she'll need to be able to compete and actually win. Um, so I don't know I haven't looked at the footage from today so literally as I'm editing this I'm gonna be seeing the footage for the first time. I brought my mom with me that day <sighs> my mom bless her heart she's she didn't really know what to film so basically I just have clips of Robin doing her first jumps and I have clips of um, Barb which is the trainer her dog torque doing his jumps so you can see the difference in like how he trains and what he can do um, versus my dog first and foremost when you see the videos of torque he has been doing this for three years he is absolutely insane and he is in the master class. Uh, he's crazy good. So don't let that fool you. Like Robin is gonna be there one day, I hope. With that being said, I'll just go ahead and show you clips from the whatever I have and I'll kind of tell you what happened. So first things first, we went into the meeting and we sat down and she talked to me about what I was feeding her and she gushed over the fact she was on a raw diet, said she was beautiful, all of that stuff. And then um, we started doing, we did her first run so she could see how I normally would do it with her. Uh, and she gave me a little, po a couple pointers. She gave me some things that I should do at home. Um, she said that I needed to teach her back, which is like for her to step backwards. And um, she told, she taught me how to train her to do that. And she said that she was doing great and that she was extremely well trained and she was super surprised. She thought that she was gonna have like 
a dog with no training on her hands. So for the second run after she took a break, um, Barb basically uh, said that she was doing great and she was super surprised and she felt like she definitely knew what she was doing and she felt like I knew what I was doing. So um, I was using a toy in the clips. You'll see that I'm using a Kong Wubba. That is not her normal toy. And I think that affected her because the next, this since this video has been filmed, I have actually taken her to another training session with Barb and I took her actual ball, her favorite toy. And Barb said that balls are really, really hard because they can't see them very well. But this dog, she's laying right here. <laughs> this dog loves that ball so much that she'll do anything for it. She will jump as far as she can for it. So initially she was jumping in like the 12 to 13 range. And then when I got the ball, she went all the way up to the 16 foot range, which is still not where we want to be, but that's the top of the um, beginners class, which is insane. That's awesome that she's, I've only trained her and she's already at the top of the class, um, out of the first class. So having said all of that, these runs that you're seeing, they're probably not her best. <laughs> but I'll definitely include like clips of her having done them from the beginning and like what she looked like when I started before she was training with my mom or with Barb. So after we got done um, with her runs, Barb was telling me that, I'm sorry if you can hear her breathing. She is a heavy, heavy breather. Um, so after we got done with her runs, Barb was telling me a couple of supplements that she was recommending and she said she wanted me to do another private lesson before I was able to go to open doc. So since this video has been filmed, I've actually already done that private lesson and she's excelled so much in those first two that she thinks she's going to be ready for her first actual competition in November. And we will be at Hogs and Air Dogs in Fort Lauderdale, which is super exciting. I'm, I am elated at that. And she said that now she can go to open dock by herself. She doesn't have to like open dock is basically like you have to know what you're doing to be able to go. And it's just a way for her to train without having a private. It's a lot cheaper too. So um, we are going to be doing open dock for the first time this weekend, hopefully. And then we're going to do private lessons two times a month. So every other week she will have a private and open dock. And then every week she'll have open dock at least once. Um, we might do Saturday and Sunday on the, on the weeks that she doesn't have privates. So having said all of that, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing my dog's first private professional lesson and I hope that this encourages you guys to get out there and do something special like that with your dogs because it's truly incredible how fast they can learn like she just she just absolutely loves it and I I just I hope that I can continue doing this for a very long time with all that being said, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see updates on her progress and see how far she's going, you can check out my Instagram because I will post about her all the time on my Instagram. I already do. Um, it's actually Harlow's Instagram, which is Harlow the Harlot of Ruskin House of Shepherds, R-H-O-S. Um, I'll write it out right here. But it's actually Harlow's Instagram that I usually update people on the animals. And then my Instagram is just my name and I just post stupid stuff probably don't follow me there <laughs> I'm just kidding but um, if you like more videos like this and you want to see her updated progress and you want me to post vlogs of like our weekends and her open dock and stuff like that I will absolutely do that I would love to keep you guys updated on Robin um, and her success and whatever else we do but if you want to keep in touch with us follow both of us on Instagram and subscribe to my channel and like this video and I will see you next week. I hope you guys have a great time and give your dogs extra loves just from me. Bye!